Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alberto Cordero and today I want to show you guys how to use the small materials in Substance Painter. Alright guys, if you never use the small materials in Substance Painter, this video is going to be just perfect for you. I'm going to show you how to mix around those small materials or how to manipulate uh, the values and to get like different results every time. So this is going to be really, really simple for you. So uh, let's just get to it, right? Alright guys, so uh, I have this model that I did a few weeks ago and uh, as you see here, I have a few materials uh, mixed here just to get different values for... Um, the whole texture and process path. I'm just going to delete everything just to show you um, how to. Uh, it's a quick interaction. Like like I said, it's just it's a quick interaction. Are we gonna use this model? We already have. If you go here, uh, where is it? All right, we already have everything here. Like all, all the vacant, like normals and uh, the ID maps, I'm in occlusion, stuff like that. So let me just, uh, just to have it clear for today, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna use one of my small materials that I have done in the, in the past. I have a few here, so let me see. Uh, let me find any of this machinery. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, let's use this one right here. Right, we're gonna mix. We could let, let's let's do this. I'm gonna show you how to mix it, how to use a uh, uh, like let's say two small materials, how to mix it around and uh let's go from there right so first of all uh i have everything compacted here in the window so uh you can see uh what i'm doing right but if you go here um to the shelf you're gonna see that we have uh let me take that out right now if you go here to small materials you're gonna find it all the smart materials that come with uh so some painter all of those right there you can make a search uh, for something that you want to do like metal for example, and you're gonna see that he's gonna separate everything uh, by what you know according to your search. Your search again is gonna go for machinery, and we're gonna select this one right here. Actually, this one, and we're just going to select it and drop it here. We can just drop it in the layers, or we can just drop it in the model. In this case, we're just gonna drop it in the model, so, uh, so you see what's going on here. All right, and as you see here. Uh, we have uh, the oh let me let me take that out for a second. Um, right, let's go and turn off the effects that we have here. Like, okay, here we go. All right, let's see how the light is working. All right, so uh, what's going on here? When you uh, basically when you do drop it, I drag and drop the small material into the model. But the obviously the layers are not um, the uh, uh, we need to rearrange this raw material with the baking that we have for the model. So if we go here to uh, what is it? Sorry. Ah, uh, there you go. So what we're gonna do here is we're going for example uh, we 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 probably have to uh, rearrange this one right here. We're gonna select the mask. Gonna go to the dirt. Going to curvature, if it has, if you see here, it says sphere curvature. So we're gonna do here. We're gonna just search X. There you go. And we're gonna select curvature, and we go to ambient occlusion, uh, world space, and we go to position. Just in case, you know, just rearrange the baking that we have for the X and the baking that is coming from the uh, the small material. All right. We're gonna roughness. We're gonna do the same thing just in case it's good. I think everything is the, um, yeah, all right, these are good. This one right here, if you see the mask, the bacon, it actually looks like it's coming from the other one. So let's do the same thing. We go after curvature, ambient occlusion, world space, and position. There you go. So you see that it's actually fixing, uh, fixing on the screen. And let's see which one, the other one. You, you actually, uh, I should have show you that before. But if you see here the bacon, let me go back for a second here. Let me just undo that so you can see what I mean. If you if you see this bacon right here with this mask, it actually doesn't look anything like the X, like the bacon that we have for the model, right? But if you uh, uh, hover on top, if you do the most on top of any of this mask, you're gonna see that this is the actual bacon for the X, right? So 
you can notice that is something that is something going on that is uh, is, is not right. So let's just go here, just go curvature, ambient occlusion, roll space, and position just again. And there we go. Now it's fixed. So now it's just uh, working properly. But if you see here, let me show you real quick. Um, if you see here, we only have one material. This is the texture set list. You can find the materials that are coming from whatever 3D tool you're using. Like, let's say that I'm using Blender, and let me open here real quick uh, that model so you can see what I'm talking about here. If I'm going to use, all right, let me go open Blender here for a second. All right, da 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 da. All right, there we go. This is the the uh, the hybrid solution. So let me just. Turn that off and turn this on. So if this is the actual uh, the the retro point that I did, it's, it's not even low. I had to yeah. But if I go here to materials, you're gonna see that that I'm only using one material for the whole thing. But if you go to Soup and Painter, that's the material that I'm using here. But if I if I just like uh, let's say I'm gonna separate uh, this is gonna be metal, 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 and metal too. And this is going to be some kind of rope or something like that. And I separate those materials here. Once that I export this and I go to Soaps and Painter, I'm going to see those materials here. That's something fantastic, all right? So, but in this case, I did this like this because I'm going to use the um, the, uh, the ID maps for uh, this model, all right? So let me show you how to... Um, okay, I have this one right here, the dust. And let me just... Let me just fix this one real quick. It's gonna do the same thing here, and this one is a mess. All right, not in that one. A little confused right now. Oh, okay, there we go. I, the thing is that I I have those little windows separating the other monitors, so that's why I get I get confused. Let me just here do the same thing. Ambient occlusion, uh, world space, and position. Just so you see that uh, if I turn off, turn on a lot, the dust in the surface, you can see what's going on right there, right? So this is just a, an amazing baking that I did uh, with the hybrid solution. You see, catch all the details. There's no messing around the surface. It's perfect. All right. Anyways, so, <laughs> so um, how that works? Let's say that I have this entire material and I want to use this material. Of course, this material is not made for this axe. Just so you know, all right? So let me just uh, put it here and we go and find another of those machinery right that I have right here. And I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to drop it in here. And there we go. And if I turn off this one, I'm going to fix this one too. So if I go here, let's say I got to fix this one. Yeah, let's go and do that one right now. And if I go here, it's the world space, same thing. Go to curvature and then go to ambient occlusion. All right, there you go. So if you see right now, it's actually working just perfect. I love it. All right, so how this works? Because this this is actually working on the entire material. If I turn this on, one is going to mute the other one. So how do we separate those two? Right? So that's something fantastic. So uh, if I select this one right here, for example, and I go ahead, okay, I'm gonna um, I'm going to create a black mask. And in, I'm gonna right click, let's do that again, right? Right click on the layer, and I'm gonna add a black mask right there, boom. And then I'm gonna right click on top of the mask, and I'm gonna say, okay, I'm going to add a color selection. And you're gonna see that this little thing right here, this little panel right there, and I'm gonna say, okay, pick a color. And I'm going to put this material only on the blade. And I'm gonna select that color right there. I'm gonna do that again. And there you go. So now you see that we have separated the blade from the rest of the model. That is woo, cuckoo. So you see that if I turn off and turn on, it's actually not affecting anything else. It's just using this uh, the selection with the mask ID, the ID mask that we are using in the model. So that is just awesome. All right, so let me just, um, but I was going to uh, actually teach you today how to do that. So uh, a smart material is so powerful that if, let's say that I have this rank right here, right? This is a smart material, and I'm actually selling those on our station. If you 
go here, our station, and I go to, okay, our station, and I go here to store. Let me show you because there you go. That one right there. Actually, uh, that one, this one, and this one right here. You can see that uh, right there, those, there you go. So, this is those are the ones I'm using right now. So, uh, if you see right here, uh, I have different values. If you see those little details right there in the surface, you can change those. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You just need to identify because usually I, I put names just so that people can uh, find um, what it is. So, some other people they do they don't do that. They just drop. Uh, mix it around and they don't explain what's going on there like if I want to change the dust in the surface I know this one is the dust because it says dust layer and if I go to the roughness this is actually uh, right there like how shiny is gonna be the surface some little uh, the dark stains in surface and I'm gonna show you like uh, cavity dust only the dust right here in those uh, parts right there and you see that it's self-explanatory what, what's going on there. And I, I have a mix of uh, a few colors and I have like a surface pattern that you see pattern that you see right there. So now this is the, this is the interesting part right now because this is like uh, the, uh, the holy grail from uh, the small material. But if I go here, so I'm going to change the value from this one, only this one right here, and I want to I want to get a different uh, a different pattern or a different tiling for that particular texture right there. So let, let me show you uh, how that works. Let me just uh, turn that off right there. And if I go here, and this is tile. It says 16. And if I start dropping this down, you can see that what's going on on the screen. Oh dear Lord, you're manipulating the small material. There you go. But that's something fantastic. Did you see that what's what's going on there how much balance you need how much is gonna uh, affect the actual material on the screen the contrast how strong is gonna be that uh, uh, that pattern on uh, on the surface of the object this is just so every time you manipulate this I'm gonna put here like gonna put a 10 for example oops didn't do anything there you go 10 and I'm gonna use like um, something like this and I'm gonna uh, drop down the uh, the contrast so you can see that it's affecting the overall look of the similar to just for changing the, the values here and parameter whatever you want to call it so if I go to like surface detail it's gonna do the same thing look just take a look at this uh, this part right here I'm gonna go to surface detail and if you can change the grunge uh, material in this case I'm using that one right there the concrete you can see that if I drop let me just make a, a, a more obvious. Uh, right now, this is the value in the heights that I'm using right now. But if I change this, look what's happening in the surface. Right there. Ooh. This is insane. If I turn off, this is the levels right there. Let me go and just. Uh, I'm gonna go with crunch. Alright, any of those crunches, and I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm gonna get uh, try plane. All right, there you go. So I'm just just by changing, just by changing different uh, values here, you can see that I'm I'm getting different results on the fly. This is just uh, if I change this one, let's go here with I don't know. Uh, let's say okay, this one. I like this one. You see how it's affecting the surface. If you see, I'm putting it real close here. So you can see what's happening right there. And I'm gonna put a high contrast here for a second so you can see better how the surface is changing right there. So let's say that this is what I like. So let me just right there, something like that. And I want uh, a different color. <clears throat> uh, this is the color base and I wanna uh, add something different so you can see what's going on right there. Something more bright. There you go, and I go here in the second, it's gonna be a little darker, something like that. There you go, so you're changing, I'm changing the values on the fly so you can see what's going on. That is the power of small materials. You can just switch around, get one small material and just modify in, in, any, in any way uh, that you want. And that's it, you can save and uh, boom. 
So let me let me show you how to let me add another uh, another uh, material here real quick. I'm gonna use this machinery that I have right here. And I'm gonna say, okay, do you only gonna affect I'm gonna go up, let me add a little bit black mass, select color, add a color selection, and we go here, I'm gonna say pick a color, and I'm gonna add only that one right there. I'm gonna put her up here so the order is actually gonna affect that. So <laughs> you see that this is just this is just crazy stuff. There you go. So if I go here and modify, let's see if I actually need to change. I see that I need to change this one right here. Let me do the same thing. World space, position, curvature, and I'm in occlusion. So you can see, there you go. Now it's actually affecting the edge of the model. So if I want to um, add another, like, okay, we go here to pick a color. I'm going to say, okay, you're going to affect that one right there too and you're going to affect that one right there too. Look, it's working just awesome. So guys, this is all for today. Thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want one of my small materials, the link is gonna be in the description. So thank you guys and see you in the next one.